percent of a number. Today we are going to set up our four-cornered quick tip note-taking strategy and review bar diagrams, develop our understanding of percents to fractions and decimals, uh, percentages greater than 100 and apply that, and then summarize what we just learned by answering our essential question for the day. In prior learning, we've discussed how to use bar, di bar diagrams rather to find the, uh, the amount or the partial amount of a total. And so if we took one-fourth of 100%, we can take a full bar, which counts as 100%, and divide it into four equal sections. So what does each bar uh, represent? Each section of the bar represent? It represents 25%. Okay. So if we wanted to apply this to another situation, for example, one quarter of 24 students in my class, then how many sections should the bar be divided into? Again, still four, but now I can take that 24 and divide by four, and I get a total of six students. And so now I know that six students is 25% of the 100%. In prior standards, we learned about how to find a percentage or convert a percentage to a fraction and a percentage to a decimal. So I'm going to show you the steps to that now. So remember, we can take the 5%, which we know is 5 out of 100, and divide that to find our simplified fraction. And then the key there is to take that fraction and multiply by the total. I place that over 1, and then I simplify that by dividing 20 from the denominator and 20 from the numerator, and I got 15. If I were to convert that to a decimal, I can take 5% using my place value and put that in the hundredths place and then multiply. Notice how I had to move the decimal place over 2 because the decimal has two place values there. And I also got 15. And so 5% of 30, 300 is 15. The key here is to multiply by that total in our second step. So if I have a percentage that's greater than 100%, and I'm trying to find that value of a particular number, I can place the 120% or any percent greater than 100 over the 100 and simplify that fraction. And then I can use that fraction and multiply by the number that I have to find what the new value will be. Here I simplify by dividing the numerator and the denominator by uh, 5, and I get 90. Now notice how the 120% is greater than 100%. That means my answer, 90, should be greater than 75, and in this case it is. So to summarize, how is percentage related to rate? Based on this information, I can see that I can use the percentage of a quantity as a rate per 100. We saw it here. We saw it in our bar diagram. We saw it that we could take our larger percentage and put it over 100, and there's our rate. And so therefore, I can find the percent of a quantity as a rate per 100. So to summarize, we can use bar diagrams to visually break down our percentages. We can convert our percentages to fractions and decimals. We can take larger percentages of a number and determine what it would be if we made the percentage or the amount grow. And therefore, we know that we can always use our rate, which is a quantity per 100, to be able to make these conversions and determine our new values.